let's talk about branding for a minute. Many people worry if you should use your own name or create a unique brand name for your website. That is totally based on your tastes. Your personal name is more open-ended and may change over time. A distinct brand, on the other hand, is more suited to generating a sellable item or something that can be copied. Greater than you are. If you think you'll ever sell your blog or if it will grow to the point where you'll need more contributors, it's typically a good idea to create a separate brand. This reduces its reliance on you as an individual. Naming a new project is challenging and it is by far my least favorite part of the process. You should definitely choose something you enjoy since you'll be stuck with it for a long time. But keep in mind that the name isn't everything. What matters most is your content. Everything else is secondary. With that out of the way, I'd like to provide some tips on how to come up with a good name for your blog. Begin by making a list of random phrases related to your subject or niche, then run those keywords through thesaurus. Calm to find some synonyms, add some adjectives or other words that you like, and experiment with different combinations. You may also have a look at other blogs in your sector to see what trends emerge and get ideas from them. If you're absolutely stumped, you may try one of the many internet name generators. My favorite example is Word Orbgum, without a doubt. You simply enter a few parameters for the type of name you're looking for, and it will return a variety of results. By the way, your blog's name does not have to have any inherent importance. What was Twitter before Twitter, for example? What existed before Google? It is up to you to make your brand meaningful. While you're brainstorming, see whether any of your favorites are available as domain names. We'll accomplish it together in the next step. When it comes to domains, though, this is something to think about ahead of time. If possible, I recommend selecting a .com because it is still the most trusted domain. But I'll add that the extension is now less significant than it has ever been. So it's fine if you come up with a terrific name that isn't available as a .com. It is once again your obligation to develop a substantial and distinct brand. After you've decided on a name, you'll most likely want a logo to visually represent your business. I generally create my own logos, but I've had great success with 99designs, a website where you can host a design contest and have hundreds of artists compete to create a winning logo for you for a few hundred bucks. You may also use design services such as Upwork and Fiverr, but watch out for low quality designs and trademark infringement. 99designs guarantees that all of its designs are unique and trademarkable. That, in my opinion, is worth the extra money. If you lack design skills and are hesitant to invest money on a logo, you may also utilize a website like Canva, which offers a number of free logo ideas that you can customize for your company.